you join us here tonight in Italy, specifically at Lego Maggiore, a circuit and a place steeped in history. Lego Maggiore itself, even, has got a lot of historical events attributed to it. Way back in 1936, a Bugatti Type 22 crashed into Lego Maggiore, but it wasn't for a particular accident, it was actually done deliberately by employees of a Swiss architect who had failed to have been paid on the day, so they decided to get rid of his most expensive prize. It's also situated within Lake Garda, the biggest lake within Italy and arguably one of the biggest lakes within Europe. It's also peculiar in its own right, Lego Maggiore, because it's not too far away from the Swiss border. Speaking though with things that are not particularly far away from one another, the championship standings for tonight for round four of the Renault Megane Trophy, sponsored by Power Max Racing, here with Next Gen. I'm Jack TM53, your commentator for tonight. As always in Lobby 2, I'm sure we're going to have a spectacular set of races two of them tonight of course 20 minutes for the first race then a break and then 15 minutes in that reverse sprint race format that we have for season 20. I did allude to the fact that the championship is very close at the moment and it is much indeed I will run through those championship standings for you in just a moment so looking at them Currently, we've still got 10 minutes left of practice, so got a lot of time to go through the championship standings. Next Gen Dominator, he's in the pits at the moment. He is currently leading the championship on 99 points after three rounds. He did all right at Suzuka last week, did Dominator. He didn't have the best race one, but race two turned it around, and he managed to retake his lead in the championship. D Hartley very close behind him in second on 97. Didn't quite have the raw pace, did Hartley last week, but the key point for him is that he got two very good results in fourth and fifth. In third place in the championship is Dud CF14. The man to beat last week was Dud. He was exceptional around Suzuka. Second place in the first race and then he won race two. The first time he's ever won a McGann race. So well done to him. He's currently on 88 points in the championship. Only 11 behind Dominator. So might be moving himself into contention but we'll see how he goes around tonight because some of the drivers have looked very quick in practice and we're yet to see what duds can do in fourth place in the championship is kz2 has a oh, bit of contact between danzo and duds coming out of turn one that all looked a bit peculiar between the two luckily this is just practice but i'm imagining both drivers will be a bit confused by what has just happened there Fourth place in the championship, as I was alluding to, Keza 2 Hass. He's on 74 points level with Duskyver, who also, Duskyver took his first race victory last week in race one. They're both on 74 points at the moment. Hass had a particularly good set of races. He's in the pits as well at the moment, is Hass. He scored two third places. In sixth in the championship standards, you've got Next Gen Danzo. He's on 72. Don't forget, Danzo was... <laughs> and... Dud's just explaining to Danzo there, he got this, the corner first time round up correctly and he hits Danzo on the exit. But Danzo, don't forget, third in the championship last season, season 19, he's sixth at the moment, so don't rule him out in that Adrian Flux livery we've all come to associate with, with this season. Don't forget, got his first ever win the week before last at round two, so Danzo, see how he gets on around Lego Maggiore GP2. Uh, seventh in the championship is Big Madaz, he unfortunately couldn't make... Uh, well, rather, I should say, could, didn't make um, the second race last week. Uh, the reason being, in between the pra uh, in between the little race one and race two time, he forgot to press um, enter, and he didn't start. So he got a big fat zero, unfortunately, in terms of his championship points. But nevertheless, he's looking quick today. He's fastest in practice so far, but still time to go. Eighth in the championship, Shadow Stalker DBS. He's on 50 points, alongside with Big Z. Who's also on 50 points is Next Gen Bigsy, which has been better. There's actually three drivers on 50 points in the battle for eighth in the championship. That's Shadow Stalker DBS, that's Next Gen Bigsy, and the man we're on board with at the moment, or following round on circuit as he comes in towards turn number 13, that is 1805. He's on 50 as well. Good, good set of races for 1805. Last week he scored fourth and sixth in race one and race two respectively so 1805 seems to be this season a little bit better stronger in his opening race second race seems to get shuffled down a little bit but never know this circuit variant which we've not run before in season has gone by and 
we'll see how that throws up a little bit of a, a differential in the in the standings and the races themselves. 11th in the championship, Chalk 12, he's on 49, he didn't have a good time with it. Did Chalk last week in race 2, he, even in race 1 he sort of survived trial by fire really around the GP loop. But he's looking a bit more competitive today, so hopefully for Chalk he'll be up in the thick of the action like he has been in the opening two rounds. Then in 12th place it's Next Gen The Belt who hasn't joined, uh, didn't join last week unfortunately. 13th is Greener Army 2009 who's in the pits at the moment and 14th but unfortunately not taking part in the rest of the season is the 55-8. He is on 5 and unfortunately that might be the only score he gets this season. Unfortunately personal circumstances have drawn him away from the league. But those are the championship standings I must say before we go into the swing in the action because the lobby is not due to start for another five or so minutes as we get to have a look and see the new driver who has joined Silver Fox 40 there he is in the Sales Eye Interactive car that's the car that Martin JL09 uses in Lobby 1 that Lobby 1 of course commentated on by CJW Racing Silver Fox 40 new in for tonight he's got the number 22 on the side of his car not sure how Silver Fox will get on today um, he's a comes with a decent reputation however I'm not certain how quick he will be he's been just quickly caught by 1805 but hopefully he'll have some good racing that's what it's all about here at next gen so it'll be interesting to watch his progress during the race <laughs> dominators are saying we're not looking forward to the, the layout and Dud's making a comment there as well saying he feels like what's watching <laughs> like I say though this is the first time we've run the number two layout it doesn't have the same flow as the normal variant does normally what Duds has just gone through there is the final corner but tonight it's turn one that's going to be a point of contention at this, both race one and race two starts obviously because it's quite a quick corner so the drivers might get caught out by breaking into there and you got Duds just coming round the sweepers of turns number three and four normally obviously they would be turns 10 and 11 depending on what variant of the the circuit you use it's just coming down the hill into the hairpin so a couple of corners aren't realistically the normal overtaking points i mean going around the hairpin did duds there that would normally be a overtaking point in the usual layout but this time around i don't think it'll be as as key these are a couple of points you're coming towards here this very quick left right coming through turns 8 9 10 and 11 absolutely flat and committed from duds nicely done actually over the curbs using all of that white strip that he can he even runs over the curb a little bit that's going to catch a few drivers out that corner going through turn 12 because of the grass on the outside and turn 13 will also be very difficult as well to try and manage he's up on his best time at the moment his duds he's 900 quicker um, but at the moment he's three two and a half seconds off the pace of the trend setter so far and that's big madas in practice his best time's been on the screen for some some excuse me one moment there he's been on the screen for a good number of minutes now has big madas you know got that first you know good results a few weeks back he was on the podium he's looked quick but he hasn't quite scored the results that his his namesakes or rather his, his new debutants have joined him with Hartley's had a race victory Duskyver's had a race victory Big Mad has the number three still waiting on that but he's certainly capable of pulling out a very good performance as the master vault driver and we'll see how he progresses tonight he's obviously setting the pace at the moment but he needs to make sure he keeps that up into the race but he's been pursued in practice by Duskyver that's a very good lap time Bixie has just joined the room which is good to have him in got a number of drivers who will need to keep an eye out on tonight hoping for Bixie that he can just keep up with his good performances from last week he had a nice good points haul did Bixie last week at Suzuka in the GP loop 1805 is going round. Silver Fox 40. Just on his first lap of a 2 minute 8. But if this is his first time around this, this variant, it'll take him a couple of laps just to get into the rhythm of the circuit. Definitely doesn't feel the same 
as the normal layout one it doesn't have that same flow as I mentioned earlier feels a little bit disjointed in parts particularly through this sequence through turns five and six nice line through there from from 40 still debating which one to call them silver fox or 40 decided that one just yet Looks like most of the drivers are in for tonight which is good news but we will start at eight o'clock that is when we're due to line everything up see how the drivers will get on once qualifying starts a couple of people who are just commenting in the message area for the drivers they are saying that they don't really know how this layout goes it's been a very long time since GT Sport in general in the daily races has featured uh, the reverse variant it's been some time so obviously not a popular layout so drivers are going to have to try and get used to getting up to speed as quickly as they can those that have done a bit of practice in the past around here that's going to be a lot better for them they'll have attributed themselves to the circuit and acclimatized very quickly but they have a bit of work to do to make sure that finding out where those overtakes are going to be those vital race two moves that need to be done from the drivers that will be starting from the back they're going to have to try and find out where the true overtaking points are a couple of mistakes could happen through 10 11 and 12 as Big Mad as flies through there, very committed, was the number three driver. See, we're using all of that curve. Got to be careful, though, with the AstroTurf and the grass on the left-hand side as they come out of that. And then into turn 13, which is a very difficult corner, no matter what variant of the circuit you take, or even if it's one of the shorter tracks that Lego Maggiore has. Still a difficult corner to get right, and amazingly, the track guides only class that as one corner despite it having three separate points so I don't make track corners up I don't make corner names up if I did I'd be out of a job very very quickly as Big Mad has going into the penultimate corner at the hairpin another corner difficult to try and get the break in right there's no real breaking markers that the drivers can use for that corner but hello to everyone who is watching I do hope you enjoy tonight's pair of races that we have for round four. Gonna be oh, big mad as puts it on the brakes immediately as soon as he goes onto the onto the gravel there. But that's the time up, so we will go into qualifying. The drivers will have ten minutes, of course. The qualifier has begun. Hopefully that D Hartley has entered. I believe he has. Out onto the circuit then they all go. It's the first time we've started exactly at 8 o'clock for a while. Which is good news. Oh, they go. Looks like... One of the... I think that was... Yes, yeah, so I was going to say Hass, the first driver out on circuit. Hopefully he'll be able to have a... A good set of races again if he can still looking for that first ever victory is KZ2 Hass he's never had one in the McGann's but the drivers now practice is over qualifying this is where the additional point for pole can be had and Hass will be the first driver to do that for us to set a lap time providing he doesn't go off the circuit Duds is out on circuit Silver Fox 40 in his first qualifying session, just being overtaken by Big Madaz. Good wheel to follow if he can. Gave, in fact, he gave Big Madaz a huge amount of room. See the banking going into turn seven at the hairpin. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for drivers to try and go around the outside of that corner. But I guarantee someone will try and go around the outside. It'd be a good move if they can pull it off. It's Hartley and Danzo very close on circuit. There's Chalk, Green Arami. There's Next Gen Dominator. Shadow Stalker's just pulled over to the side. Not sure what's happened there. And Big Z is just coming out of the pits as well. So everyone, it looks... Oh, that studs backwards. As he put a wheel on the curb, coming out of turn 12 and just rolled down the hill. 
Hartley is also out on circuit, and I was just about to say he's gone off coming out of turn 13. Gets the car spinning in the right way again. Oh, that's a bad place to rejoin. It's a good job everyone's on their outlaps. Obviously, this circuit, they're looking at two minute odd lap times. We saw in practice a two minute point five. Whether Lobby 2 can break into the 59s, that would be an incredible achievement if they could. We can see that in the lobby, one drivers are looking at 158. See how the drivers then go as they start their first flying laps. There's Greener Army just going to set his lap time. Onto the first lap he goes then in that dread sponsored car. The Skyver out as well. Shadow Stalker, Big Z will be the last driver to set a lap time. He's got half the track to himself practically. He hasn't took 12 and 11 and 12 particularly well through there, but he's got a penalty for it and just clears it quickly. 1805 is not out of the pits yet. He needs to get out as soon as he possibly can. You see, Big Mad as is on his flying lap. Everyone apart from Big Z and 1805 on their flying laps now will be an intriguing battle now to see how those first laps go important for the drivers to put a, a banker lap down we'll stay with Silver Fox 40 he is the newcomer of course see how he gets on in his first McGann Trophy qualifying session he's been caught very quickly by Duds Duds going to have to be patient if he wants to overtake him it's not, it's not helped Duds but Nevertheless, they're both on the qualifying laps. They both have to respect each other. Duds, in fact, just losing a little bit of time there. So Duds certainly has a lot of confidence going through turns 9, 10, 11 and 12. That quartet sequence. Duds just coming right up to the back of Silver Fox 40. And Danzo right on the back of Chalk as well. But the first lap time is about to come in. It's going to be KZ2 Haas. What lap time can he set then? It's a 2 minute 1.3 from KZ2 Haas. What about Big Madaz? What can he do as he crosses the line? A little bit slower. That's a 2 minute 3.7. He can go quicker than that. Chalk now will have Danzo right behind him. They slot themselves second. And Danzo is, for some reason, behind 1805. Dominator 3 moves himself up into second Hartley is in third the two championship protagonists at the moment separated by half a second but one place between them Silver Fox has gone into tenth that's Greener Army who's just set himself a lap time of a two minute thirteen Shadow Stalker now just coming round the final corner this isn't going to be a quick lap from Shadow Stalker he's gone off somewhere here he comes then towards the line he's probably going to go last here and he does indeed. So after the initial runs, it's KZ2 Haas on provisional pole of a 2 minute 1.3. And he's going even quicker on this second lap. Dominator in second place. Championship leader, don't forget, by two points ahead of D Hartley 79. These two not separated by much on circuit. Half a second, but the race in the Megans, especially in Lobby 2, always throws up a few outliers so to speak there's the Skyver in fourth he's going purple in sector two so looking like a strong lap for him so far where's Big Z out on circuit he's just coming towards the line puts himself ninth 18.05 needs to get out in the next two minutes otherwise for some reason he's starting eighth I don't quite understand how that works but it's Haas who's going to be setting that second time. We will take a lap on board with somebody. I think we'll go on for a, a lap of the circuit with Chalk. Because he's right on on the back of Danzo who's got past him. Haas goes even quicker. That's a 2 minute point nine from Haas. So into the 122nd mark now are the drivers. Big Madaz takes provisional pole. He goes 200th of a second quicker. Good lap time from Big Madaz. But we'll ride on board then with Chaw, because Danzo goes a little bit quicker, as does Duds. In towards this turn one then, cars coming in 140 mile an hour just underneath. In fourth gear, 
Flicks the car over the curb, which you can cut a little bit more. Nicely done from Chalk in turn one. Turn two, pretty much flat out. Got to spot the line then into turn three. Down into fourth gear, maybe down into third. No, he runs a little bit over the exit curb, does Chalk. That's a nice line, and Danzo has gone for a bit of lawn cutting, shall we call it. Then... We come into this very quick, turns five and six. Over the kerb, completely flat for the first part. Chalk does a bit of a lift through turn six. Didn't quite hook the way hook the line up the way you would have wanted. Then down into turn seven in the hairpin. Doesn't quite get the car hooked onto that kerb that he needed to do there, so he's gonna lose a little bit of momentum coming over the bridge now as the approach turns eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. <laughs> it's quite a, a sequence of corners absolutely flat it should be in these McGann's for the first part Chalk nails the first two corners nicely done, down into fifth gear then for turn ten lovely so far from Chalk through here, then down another gear into fourth and he's done quite nicely, Chalk through the middle sequence that's very good from him, now he's got to try and get the braking spot on for turn thirteen, difficult corner nice line through there from Chalk, has to be said He's done very well so far. He's 2.4 up on this lap. This will put him near the two minutes, effectively. But he's got to maintain this for the rest of the lap now. At the 50 metre marker board on the right hand side, he breaks down into third gear. Gets the car on the kerb. Just has to get his line right now through the third to last corner, which he does. Nice and early on the throttle and then on the brakes. Down into the penultimate corner. He's got to get the car turned in here to get the car lined up for the final corner which is done well big madass improves and goes even quicker two minute point six this has looked like a very good lap from chalk where is this going to put him in terms of lap time it puts him up to fourth that's a good effort just six tenths off the pace is chalk 12 that's a good effort dominator still in fourth d hartley's put himself in front of his championship rival by one hundredth of a second, Duskyver gets himself into that tiny little gap, puts himself fourth, so there's a car now between Dominator and D Hartley already in this championship fight. 18.05 will not set a lap time, and Silver Fox 40, that's his qualifying over, but so far inside the top 10. It would be great for him if he can stay there. Here comes Shadow Stalker towards the line, looked a little bit wide coming out of the final corner. He won't improve. Greener Army does. He's done a 2 minute 12.6. Greener Army not used to this circuit. He doesn't know it. So he's got a lot of learning to do today. Big Z. Just clearing his penalty up. Doesn't want to take any advantage as he can. But it's Big Madaz who leads the way now. With one lap. Potentially left for a couple of drivers. There's another car coming towards the penultimate corner. They should get one more lap. Big Madaz is stopped on circuit. He won't improve them. He's pulled over to the side. He's in the pits. So, Haas will then be the first driver to see the checkered flag. It was Bigsy who's gone a little bit quicker on that lap. He's got one more lap to do. Here comes KZ2 Haas then. He slings the car around the penultimate corner. Gets the line just a little bit wrong coming out of the final corner. But has he got enough momentum coming towards the line? It doesn't look like he has. Has, has to stay in second for the time being. What about the other drivers in front? It'll be Chalk next who will see this checkered flag in qualifying. Let's see what Chalk does then as he comes towards the line. Doesn't look like it's going to be an improvement for him. Dominator looks like he's on a better lap though. And that's a great lap from Dominator. He goes provisionally pole with a two minute point five. Fantastic effort. Pulls that right out of the bag at the end. The Skyver's not going to improve either. What about next gen Danzo? He's just gone up against the grass. He might not improve here. He doesn't. Silver Fox 4D has already seen the checkered flag. Shadow Stalker. There is another car just coming towards the line. Shadowstalker on the brakes then. Down into the second to last corner. See how he gets on through this sequence. Shadowstalker, is he going to improve? He does! He moves up to 11th. It's a good lap for Shadowstalker. Big Z still on a lap at the moment. Another car just coming towards the line now, but they've not improved. So Big Z will be the last driver to 
try and usurp Dominator 3. Whether that's going to happen is another matter. Dominator with a fabulous lap time. Dud's just saying in the comments, tough track. It is indeed. Here comes Bigsy then into this penultimate corner. How's he going to get on? He hooks the line very nicely. Does look like an improvement so far from Bigsy. Comes around that final corner then. Will he be able to improve? Coming towards the line. I don't think he's going to beat Dominator, but is he going to go any higher up in the order? He does. He moves up to eighth. Great effort for the Hampshire driver. He moves into eighth place, but it's next-gen Dominator 3, the championship leader. Three pole positions from a potential four. He's got himself on the front row, and he's got himself a car between first and third of his championship rival, D. Hartley 79. Great effort from Big Madaz, who starts on the front row, and KZ2 Haas in the end was bumped down to fourth. Great qualifying session. The top six separated by seven tenths of a second around this massive circuit here in Italy. So, 20 minutes for this first race. It's Next Gen Dominator 3 on the right-hand side in that white, green and yellow car. Big Madaz in the silver, blue and turquoise car on your left-hand side on the front row. 20 minutes on the right-hand side. Here come the numbers. And the race is live from Lego Maggiore. It looks like a really good start from the second row of D Hartley. Big Madaz is trying to go through the middle as well as they come towards turn one. And the cameraman's done a fantastic job. We can't see anything. And now Big Madaz has got the lead, but it's Haas on the inside of the three of them. Four of them going up the inside. Here comes ha D Hartley. He's trying to go through. Dominator's been to down to third place, but he's on the inside coming into turn two. As that's D Hartley, who's got the lead. Great start for him. He had a fantastic launch. That's Dominator 3 running a little bit wide coming into turn number 4. Is Haas going to get the move and get himself in between the two championship leaders? It looks like he might do. He's going to be on the outside though for this sequence and Haas gets himself in front. They both give each other racing room but Haas is through. So Dominator down to third after starting first. Big Madaz down to fourth as well. Disguiver's in fifth. Duds is up to sixth as he looks for a little move up the inside of Disguiver going into the turn 7 anti-hairpin so to speak. Bit of a gap back to some cars at the tail end of the field. That's Shadow Stalker and Greener Army. Something's happened to those two. But it's D Hartley who leads the way. Then it's Haas. Then it's Dominator. Big Madaz. Dusk Iver. Duds. Big Z. Danzo. 1805. And Silver Fox 40 on his debut inside the top 10. Chalk 12 has gone backwards, unfortunately. He's down 11th after starting 6th. Good opening sequence from the drivers. That's Danzo going a little bit wide through turn 10 and 11 there. And look at this, 18.05 is going to try and go for a move around the outside, potentially going into turn 13. Looks like Danzo was compromised. Didn't quite get the line right, did Danzo, but 18.05 can't tuck his car underneath the rear wing of that blue Adrian Flux-backed machine. Looks like Dominator was having a little look at the inside of Haas there. Don't think he's going to pull that one off. 18.05 later on the brakes, potentially. Not quite. Silver Fox 40 getting involved as well. We'll just back out of this so we can get all the camera angles that we need. Back to the front note, Hartley leads. There's Haas, Dominator scrambling all over the back. He's got Big Madaz trying to go around the outside of him. Don't forget these two started first and second, the third and fourth at the moment. Good switch back from Big Madaz as they come towards turn one for the second time of asking. Big Madaz on the inside. He just backs out of that. And Disguiver does the same. Dutch just floats the car underneath as well. He's in the mix of all this. Patient game need to be played here for the drivers. This is not a usual circuit. It's not very... It's quite unorthodox, but Duds is looking for a move up the inside of Duskyver. Can he get it done? Nice and clean. He does indeed. Duskyver runs off the circuit almost in protest. And Big Z should be able to get past him and up into sixth, which he does indeed. No contact between the drivers. Duds just got through. Looks like Duskyver was almost scared off the circuit. Look at Danzo now trying to make a move for 7th place. Disguiver going backwards, but he's on the inside. Big Z covers that line. Good driving from everybody so far. 18.05 in 9th. There's Silver Fox 40. Chalks in 11th. Shadow Stalker, Greener Army a little bit further back, but Hartley's opened up a gap here. Oh, Haas cutting right in front of Dominator's nose as they came into turns 9, 10, 11 there. Just about got away with it, and Haas is going to get a penalty for that. Can't be cutting too much of the inside curb. I'd be um, stunned if he didn't get a penalty for it. It doesn't look like he has. Wow, fantastic for KZ2 Haas. 
Not fantastic for us watching, but for him, he's got away with Scott Free for a penalty. Duds is up to fourth. He's got past Big Madaz going into turn 13. Duds, the main mover in these opening few minutes, seems to have settled into the race nicely. Because he's having a good race so far, he's in sixth. He's not pointing the wrong way like he did in season 19, which is positive for him. Danzo's run a little bit deep. He's got 18.05 trying to go around him. Duskyver's trying to go around the outside of Bigsy. And he's done it. Great move. Duskyver then up into sixth. Danzo holding on from 18.05 at the moment. He just had a little wiggle coming out of... Or rather coming into... Oh, he's a bit sideways coming out as well. Oh, Chalk's rounded into the wall. I just saw a swap of position between himself and Silver Fox 40. Brown goes Chalk and his nightmare continues... Won't get caught by Shadowstalker, I don't think. What? I'm not, I'm not sure what happened to Shadowstalker and Greener Army on their opening lap, but they're right down at the back. Danzo in 18.05 and Big Z all together on circuit. I say together on circuit. Two of them were. Big Z went flying off for a moment. Ah, still holding on to that second place ahead of Dominator. Big Z still in seventh place. Duskyver and Big Madaz have got themselves away from that fight. Further back. At Dominator looking for different moves. He wants to try and get past Haas. His championship lead will be switching with Hartley. If he can't get past Haas, he's going to look to the inside again as they come towards turns eight and nine. Brave for the pair of them to try and stick this out. They both give each other just about enough room. There's contact between the two. Dominator's into the wall. Haas is almost round. He's held the car. He's sideways still. Just about holds onto the car. He does indeed. That was always going to be a risk going side by side through turns 8 and 9 and Dominator is through. I'd say that's more of a racing incident on that one personally in terms of from a commentator's perspective. It's so difficult to run two cars through there and they both found that out the hard way. Duds can now see another podium. He's never had three podiums in a row let alone two which he got last week. And Duds trying to go for that third place and third podium in a row. Big Madaz, he's also got a number three on the side of his car. He's looking to try and get involved as well. Whether he can, that's another matter. Disguiver's in sixth. Danzo's got past Big Z, as has 18.05. Huge fight going on for seventh place. Danzo, 18.05, trying to get underneath. There's Big Z looking at a potential switchback, but it's too tight through the final corner. Danzo's gone a little bit sideways. Coming out of the final corner, we'll watch from Big Z's perspective. 18.05 on the inside, coming in towards turn one. Big Z trying to look for a little potential opportunity. Danto's giving him the room. And Big Z cleans his way through and puts his car right in the way. Danto can't get past. So, Big Z up into eighth place. And Silver Fox 40's right on the back of these three. Oh, that's Big Z's got the line wrong through turn four. Move complete and Silver Fox 40 up into ninth. So he's getting himself involved now in the shenanigans in the fight for seventh place. Back in the fight for potentially the top three. Dominator has got away from her, so you could see the speed that Dominator had. Fastest lap on that last lap for Dominator. Two minute point, or rather lap two, two minute point nine. Can he do anything about that gap to his championship rival D Hartley? Running it to the extremities of the circuit it was Hartley there. It's Dominator free. There's Haas. He's got Duds all over the back of him. Duds coming alive in this championship now. After his first win last week at Suzuka. Looking for another podium. Big Madaz in fifth. There's Duskyver in sixth. 1805 and next gen Danzo still together. Bit of a gap back to Silver Fox 40. And Bigsy sliding the car into turn 13. Chalk after going round has done very well actually his Chalk to get the gap down to 3 seconds. He's looking quicker as Chalk. A purple sector in the 4th lap there for Chalk 12. So certainly capable of achieving some good lap times. We'll keep an eye on his progress. Back to that fight for what is currently 3rd place. Duds all over the back of Haas. He's going to be on the inside now, coming towards turn one. We'll ride on floor camera. Has Haas still got the line? Not quite. Duds is going to be there on his inside. They both won't want to give the room up. Duds looks like he's gone through. They're still side by side. They're not anymore. Haas takes that line and has to concede third place to Duds. 
So Haas relegated to fourth place now. Dominated with another purple fastest lap there. Team at point seven back in the fight for seventh. 18.05 has just switched back up the inside to Danzo, but Danzo's going to try and do it himself. They're side by side. Here's Silver Fox 40 as well. Ooh, Danzo can't shut the door like that. He has to be careful. But Silver Fox getting himself into the heat of the battle now. Oh, and 18.05's run wide coming out of turns. Ivy's made a little bit of contact with Danzo. No harm done. And Silver Fox 40 in his excitement was in the wrong gear coming out of the hairpin. But good fight in between 18.05 and Danzo, they usually do. Had a number of fights in Season 17, did these two, and Danzo's on the inside. They're going to try and go side by side. Danzo just clears 18.05. Oh, he's sideways, he just about holds the car in shape. I hope 18.05 doesn't get a penalty from that contact. Oh, Danzo not very clean coming out of Turn 12. Danzo is holding the inside line. 18.05 is trying to find a way around the outside at 13. Probably going to be difficult to pull off, but he's got a very good run. Coming out of the first part of 13, Danzo already covering the inside line as they come towards turn number 14. He's going to try and go around the outside. Is 18.05. He breaks a lot later. Danzo then breaks a little bit earlier, actually. And gets that line back. 18.05 is trying to go underneath him in preparation for the penultimate corner. Just putting Danzo in under some strain here. 18.05 trying to get the car tucked in. He's got to get the line right through there. He does. Danzo's not got a good momentum. 18.05 should be able to clear him before they get to turn one. And it looks like he will do. So Danzo compromised. And the pressure put on by the steel seal driver moves 18.05 up to seventh. 1805 giving room to a car that's not there. In fact, he's gone so far off the circuit. Danzo should be able to get back up the inside. Great fighting. For seventh place. Great scrapping at the moment. Silver Fox 40 has brought Bigsy and Chalk 12 has now joined in the fun. Look at that lap time from Chalk 12. A two minute one. Right on the pace of the leaders is Chalk 12 at the moment. And he's going to look towards the inside. That's a little bit of argy-bargy going through turn four. They give each other racing room. A little bit of door-to-door -door again coming out of the corner. Chalk's got to stop bashing into the side of Silver Fox 40. The pair of them do. And Silver Fox just goes straight back through. So, a bit of contact between the two cars. Don't want to be spearing themselves off circuit. That's the last thing that they would want in any way, shape or form. D Hartley still leading the way. We haven't seen him. I haven't seen much of him in this race, but he's on lap six, eight minutes to go. He's settled the gap between himself and Dominator, but I think Dominator made a mistake on that last lap, so problems occurring for the championship leader. And the amazing thing is, if they stay as they are, then they will both be equal on points, <laughs> which is fantastic for the championship fight. Duds is there as well. He's in third. He's got a little gap to Haas. Big Mad has his fifth, but Duskyv has caught him in this fight for fifth place. See, on the brakes goes Big Mad has just clearing that penalty. Can Duskyver queue up the car? To oh, he didn't quite get the apex right coming out of the final corner. Although Big Mad has running onto the grass a little bit. I don't think Big Mad has will need to defend going into turn one. I think Duskyver will just stay behind him, which he will do. Although Big Madaz has run a little bit wide. Is that a momentum opportunity? Not quite. You can see the cars in 7th place fighting massively at the moment. A raging inferno almost going on in 7th place. Big Madaz has run a little bit deeper into the corner. We'll cut back to 1805. He's just been absolutely shown the door by Next Gen Danzo. When I say this door, I mean it was being opened for Danzo himself. So Danzo back up to 7th place, Bigsy in 9th, Silver Fox 40 in 10th, and Chalk has unfortunately gone around somewhere. And his progress he'd made. Oh, Bigsy has been overtaken by Silver Fox. Great fight for 7th place. Or rather 8th, yeah. Oh, that's 1805, he's gone into the gravel trap, he's going to surely lose a position to Silver Fox 40. And Big Z, surely they're not going to try and make this free wide. Coming into turns 8 and 9, that would be absolutely... 
disastrous for one of them at least. Not quite. Oh, Silver Fox 40 tried to make some momentum. He's held the line somehow. He's defended now. Bigsy can't get round him. And Silver Fox 40 stays in ninth place. It was brave from Silver Fox. He just couldn't quite clear Bigsy to make that line. Bigsy trying to go around the outside. He's on the grass partially. What a move this could be from Bigsy if he can get the car lined up on the inside. And he does. Fantastic. Here comes Silver Fox though. He's on the inside again. He's going to have the switch back. Coming towards turn 12. Bigsy has the momentum, but Silver Fox has the out inside line. Coming into turn number 14. Here they go then on the brake. Silver Fox just lines the car up. Stop Bigsy from turning in, and he takes that position back. Great fight in between these two. Absolutely superb to watch. Bigsy still on the inside for turn number 14 through 15, and then into 16. Nicely done. Bigsy has that line, and he gets the position done, but he's a little bit tweaky on the exit what's happened to duds because he had 1.6 to Haas, and Haas is now in the in the frame for another podium so Haas back up to third we haven't seen it duds has gone off somewhere okay he's had two Haas. can he make it a trio of thirds now two third places at suzuka duds who's informally been nicknamed Dudzuka after his performances last week he's right on the back of the 3M car coming into turn 8 and 9 I don't think either driver is going to yield here for this one but Haas does I'm surprised I didn't think he would have done so Duds goes up to third place sensible driving from Haas in the end and you see how the driver is using the kerb just to hook the car through D Hartley any doubts about his racecraft shut out with a 2 minute point four, but he made a mistake on that last lap gap down to 1.5 so Dominator should have two laps left to try and make some form of impression on the Fuchs car Duds is still in third after that move Big Madaz has been overtaken by Duskyver we haven't seen it on circuit they were close before and there's Danzo in the ever fighting 18.05 Bigsy's in ninth. Silver Fox 40's dropped back and now he's down to 10th Chalk will be hoping for better fortunes in race 2 he's in the prime position for it and he looks quick just a little bit of bad luck during this race not sure what's happened he's been in the wall as you can see but two bad laps where he's been facing the wrong way haven't helped him in that Geisen liveried car. Shadow Stalker just running around in 12th. Not sure what's happened to Shadow Stalker. He's been on the pace of the midfield by the looks of it. Yeah, he's been right on the pace of Silver Fox 40, but for some strange reason, he's right the way down in third. Sorry, 12th. I was looking at his fastest lap was on lap three. <laughs> so Shadow Stalker in 12th place, and Greener Army currently rounding out the drivers in 13th. Back at the front, the gap's come down, it's less than a second. D Hartley has to be considerate now of his chances. He has to make sure he keeps the car planted. He can't be focused too much on Dominator behind. But it's going to be really difficult for him to do that because you can see Dominator taking different lines, trying to make that time decrease, that gap between them. And Dominator pushing it absolutely to the extreme. Lost a bit of time because of that. He won't give up, Dominator. It's not the type to do so. Dud's in third. He's got that gap back out to, to Haas. So it could be a trio of podiums for Duds. Here's Duskyver still fighting with Big Madaz. 1805's back in front of the next gen Danzo. Actually quite close to one another. A little bit of contact going into turn 13. Don't think Danzo is going to have as much momentum as he would have wanted. Will 1805 defend coming into turn number 14? No, he won't. Danzo's going to try and break later. Slides a little bit sideways. 1805 gives him the room. And 1805 holds on. 1805 and Next Gen Danzo both had a very good fight. They'll have one more lap. 
to settle this. Bigsy's up to ninth. Silver Fox 4D in 10th is being dramatically caught by Chalk. Oh, that's Bigsy round. Bigsy's lost it coming out of turn number 17. And his chances of getting a top 8 have just diminished like that. But it's Hartley on his final lap now. We're going to stay with this battle. If we see any movement between Danzo and 1805, we'll keep an eye out. But this is the fight. The tension is there. D Hartley will know that that green and yellow car is catching him. Had a great exit. Did Dominator free. Closing the gap between them. Duskyver and Big Madas have had a great fight for fourth. We haven't seen much of it, but they are fighting hard. Look at Dominator. You can see the lines. He's closing, closing. You can see the PMR sticker on the back of that Renault Megane. Will he try and look to the inside? No, Dominator can't quite get there. Hartley covers the line, but he runs a little bit deep. Good exit from Dominator. This is going to be his best opportunity, realistically. Not to say that he won't have any others before the end of the lap. Hartley coming towards turn 14. Dominator's got to look at the inside. He breaks a little bit later. Hartley tries to shut the door. They're side by side. Dominator provisionally leads, but he's going to be on the outside. Coming into the third to last corner. They rub again. Hartley's on the outside. This is going to be so close to the line. On the inside is Dominator. They lean on one another. Dominator gets the move done. He's going to be through. He has. He's got it. On the final lap. He's sideways coming out of it. What about Hartley? They're coming towards the line. It's going to be so close, but Dominator just takes the victory it's next gen dominator who wins what a final lap that was hartley second duds third great fight between him and has for fourth to skyver beats big Madas in the end for fifth place meanwhile 1805 danzo they're going to finish seventh and eighth as danzo goes sideways coming out of the final corner there's chalk 12 just coming towards ninth place what could have been but keep an eye out for race number two there's silver fox 40 in 10th big z in 11th place he was ninth but spun it on the penultimate lap and he's just coasting towards the line he's probably annoyed greener army 2009 has seen the checkered flag and there is shadow stalker dbs coming towards the line now but next gen dominator with three corners to go got the move done he nearly lost it coming out of the final corner but he just held on it's next gen dominator three who takes round four race one victory great fight between himself and d hartley in the end but dominator comes out on top so that was a great end to race one of round four brilliant to watch the drivers will be going into race two in about seven minutes eight minutes time something like that so tune in shortly because i'm going to end this stream i'll start another one up so see you in a moment